Walsh, everybody. Thank you, Joe. Hey, welcome back, everybody. You know my first guest tonight from The Office, The Mindy Project, and Late Night. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Mindy Kaling. Thank you for being back on. You look fantastic. Thank you. I am so happy to be here. Oh, always happy to have you, even though people don't <laughs> think that's the case. I know. I want to clear the air about something here. You, you know what I'm talking about here is yeah. that we, I've had you on many times. I'm a great admirer of yours. You've said some nice things about me in return. And, uh, but people don't believe that. I want to go over. Have you seen all of these? I have some idea. Okay, where this so is going. these yes. are these are based on conversations we've had on this show. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Number one, Mindy Kaling calls out Colbert's unprofessional behavior as Mindy Project guest star. <laughs> Mindy Kaling, Stephen Colbert's baby gift sucked compared to Oprah Winfrey's. <laughs> Mindy Kaling mercilessly roasts Stephen Colbert after his Apple Watch cuts her off. <laughs> the con, the controversial reason Stephen Colbert had to apologize <laughs> to Mindy Kaling. <laughs> and does Mindy Kaling have beef with Stephen Colbert? Mindy, let's settle that last one. Do you and I have beef? We're the new Kanye Pete. <laughs> That's us now, right? Kanye Pete, I'm Kanye Pete. Obviously, Pete. Kanye. <laughs> really? Really? And not just for racial reasons. No, I no, mean. You're the um, troubled genius. I'm the troubled genius. Um, but no, I thought it was very surprised. I was. I thought you and I evinced great affection for each other on television. I mean, I mean, if I had to really examine it, <laughs> I do think there have been things that you've done. There's wow. the time. Okay, well. Wow, you know, when you when you say, you point at you know someone else, that's three fingers pointed back at you, Mindy. We I have great affection for you, and I, I don't know what this is about. But you know what? Because it sells newspapers. I was gonna say, yeah. you know, the people who have beef are mega celebrities. Oh my god, they blow up huge. Blow, we're like music people yeah. now. Do you know let's, what I mean? Let's right now we're like fish. Let's take it to a beef. Yes. And next time, like, then we'll go to. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just trying to think what's think more meat than, you know. That was good. Yeah. I liked Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm just I saying... think you and I are the only two who liked it. <laughs> no, I thought much. it was, it was mm -hmm. like Uncle Stephen. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. yes. But uh -huh. I, I think now. Not Grandpa Stephen. Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> Uncle Stephen doesn't make me feel old enough. Go ahead. Grandpa Stephen and his, his meat analogy exactly. jokes. Exactly. You I... know how he was attacked by a fish in the war. <laughs> I just, I think it's good, and I think then it'll get to the point where it's just like, can only one of them come to this award show? You know, I think it's... Right, well, they didn't say anything about you talking <laughs> about me at the Emmys last year. <laughs> you called me a messy bitch on stage from the Emmys wait, last year. Wait, that's true. You, yes, it is true. I remember because you, know what? you did this. it to me. We do have a problem. We do, and I said, <laughs> takes one to no one. <laughs> so, um, isn't it fun to pretend that we don't have a beef? Yeah, it is. Now, you went to Disney with your kids recently. I, I want to ask you about something. You, um, <laughs> you, you tweeted for advice while you were at Disney, which I think is a dangerous thing to do, because then it lets people know that Mindy Kaling is at Disney, and your legions of fans will hunt you down in Tomorrow World or whatever. <laughs> yes, the you, dozen... you said there's something wrong with this. I, can't, I don't see anything wrong with there's this. There's a little typo. I'm going to Disneyland with the kids uh, really soon. What to wear and bring with me for eight plus days in the park? No jokes, please. This is deadly serious. <laughs> yeah, there's a typo. What there. is the typo? Days instead of hours. For the record, this audience did not think that was strange. Here's the thing. I didn't think it was strange either. Eight days People in Disney? People spend eight... Have you, have you ever stayed at Disney? Yeah, I do, but you would think... It's wonderful. It's the happiest place on Earth. 
But you can spend hundreds of hours there in a row? You don't have to. Eight days, eight, 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 that's just 64 hours. That's like telling your boss, I need more than a week off to go to Disney, sir. Or ma'am, ma'am, whoever. Sure. Very but, good. Good save. Thank you. Good save, by the way. Women can uh, be employers, uh, yeah, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mindy Kaling thinks uh -huh. that women can be employers, sure. too. Yeah. Um, or I a mouse or a mouse with big ears and exactly. a giant head. Exactly. Yes. Well, I, um, no, what was crazy was when I saw that, I was like, oh, my gosh. But no one thought it was, no, like this audience, who would gladly spend yep. eight days in Disneyland. And also, Absolutely. Disneyland is not Disney World, which has... You know, there's seven different ancillary parks in it. Mm -hmm. Disneyland is. Are you talking Disneyland. smack about Disneyland right no, now? I, <laughs> as I'm talking about this, it's yes. making me seem ungrateful to our time, which we had there, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. But eight days worth. Did you? I'm just did not you have? Me. Did you have a good time? Oh, like, how, how old are the kids now? Four and. Almost two and four. Okay, two and four. Okay, yeah. four. That's perfect. Yeah. Because she loved she, it. She's uh, she liked the princesses and all that kind of stuff. She is a thrill seeker. Last time we were together, you said that she was not thrilled. With having a little brother. Yeah. And how is she, has she adjusted? Because they eventually like them. Yeah, she loves it now. Because okay. she is, she just is a narc. Um, in the, how does this oh, manifest the, itself? Oh, the thrill of feeling like she could get him into trouble. Mm. And he's not, he's not even two yet. So she'll run in and she'll be like, Spencer was reading a book upside down. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, well, you know, that's not really hurting anybody. Like, he can, <laughs> and he can't even read. Those are my books. And it's like, it's fine. But then I feel like to not seem like I'm a one-sided parent, I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm like, but he shouldn't be reading it upside down. Like, there's lots of sides to this story. So. Sure. Does, yeah. How does he feel about her? Even at both, yeah. It's so sad. He adores her. Oh, of course. He adores he her. She can do no wrong. She can do no wrong. And she is sort of barely tolerating right now. You're, you might have some tips for me. You're the youngest of 11. I'm the youngest of 11, exactly. So what did you do to Just do anything you? they want. <laughs> <laughs> I was, no joke, I was a tackling dummy for my brothers. <laughs> You know, they were like, my brother was all state wrestling. I was like, come here, I want to show you an illegal uh, chokehold. <laughs> we, we have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere, everybody. We'll be right back with Mindy Kaling.